In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Beefy Finance. Beefy is a cross-chain yield optimizer. This means that you can actually use it across all of the major blockchains to search for and then go ahead and get the best yields in DeFi. It basically automates some strategies and makes it very easy in a kind of one-click way for you to do this. So I'm gonna go over exactly how the platform works, how I use it, and some of the things that you should be really aware of um, when you're using it because high APY doesn't necessarily really mean a good thing. So I'm going to go through all of the strategies that I personally use on this platform, how to use it, and then actually how to go ahead and enter into some of these trades. I'll leave the timestamps for this video down in the description alongside some other helpful videos and resources. So check those out. Um, but what we need to do is come to launch app on the top right hand corner and it will take you through to here. You don't need to choose the chain right now. Um, you can do that in the actual application itself. So obviously if I click here, you can see all of the different chains up here. This is just some uh, information on the platform itself, but we're gonna go ahead and connect our wallet. So if you come up to the top right, you can obviously click on connect wallet right here, choose from all of these. I'm gonna connect MetaMask, so it does that automatically. Um, so I'm gonna bring up my MetaMask right here. If you need to actually change chains, um, so let's say right now I'm in my MetaMask, the on the Matic network, come up to your MetaMask, open it up, and then click one of the networks that you want to open and use with beefy you're going to have to use a few if you want to get the best results so for example if i choose avalanche network and click on that you'll see that i've changed it in my metamask and it's also changed up here in the top and we're now on avax i can click this again and then go back to you know whatever network that i want um, and it's going to change right in the beefy app so we'll go back to matic network and it changes in the app so you don't have to change to look around, but if you wanna go through with one of these strategies on one of these chains, obviously that has to be in your MetaMask. If you wanna know how to add all of these chains to your MetaMask, I'll leave that MetaMask video in the description. Otherwise, you can just search in Google how to add Polygon to MetaMask, and it's a very simple process. Once you've added all of those chains onto your MetaMask, you can then use them directly um, with Beefy as well. I'm gonna very quickly show you how to search for stable coin pools to see how much yield you can get on those if you wanna earn on your stable coins. And then on some other tokens as well um, to see what yields you can get on tokens that you hold anyway. So the first thing we wanna do is obviously look around um, at how to search. You can see all the chains right here. So I've got them all on at the moment, or you can just choose the ones that you want to actually go ahead and use. And then come down here um, to see the different type of strategies that you can use. So if I'm gonna click on stable coins right here, and then I can very simply search um, either by the token, so maybe I want USDT pairs or, or something like that, or I can just simply sort by the, the APY. I'm gonna click on this and then look at the TVL. So I'm gonna click TVL, and this shows me the, the pairs with the highest TVL. So 37.46 million in TVL. This is obviously a big pair and you can see the chain is Avalanche and the platform is curved. So very trustworthy and it, this is obviously a big pair. The APY um, isn't huge. You can see three and a half percent APY. Um, that's because it's a very large you know, trading pool. And so obviously with liquidity and, and uh, the size, the APY does come down a little bit because there's obviously more competition um, lowering yields. But you can, you can see different yields right here. So what I would want to do is obviously sort by, search by the highest um, APY, and that's gonna show me the highest yield as an, as an annualized yield that I can get. Now, you obviously wanna search now from the top down in terms of what coins that you actually wanna hold. So, uh, you know, do I wanna earn 20% yield on Japanese yen? I don't wanna hold yen. So gonna obviously skip that one, come down to what I would wanna hold, which is a US dollar stable coin. So if we come down to this one right here, on the left-hand side, I've got the chain Avalanche, happy to use Avalanche, big chain, and the platform is Curve Finance. Again, happy to use that. It's a you know very robust um, uh, exchange and, and DEX. So that liquidity pool would be fine for me. DAI, USDC, USDT, happy holding those. Uh, my, a little bit less so. It's a little bit newer and um, you know, a little bit strange in the way that that stablecoin works, but you're getting 11.5% as a yield here, which is obviously very, very, very good. And the TVL is, is decent as well. So that's obviously a big pair. But coming down, if you didn't want to use my, you know, just keep searching down until you get um, a liquidity pool that you're happy using. So if we come down here, I can see two liquidity pools, USDC and USDC.E. They're just two types of token on the Avalanche network. 
The platform is Trader Joe um, and Avalanche. So very happy using both of those. And then USDT and USDT.E, again, would be happy using either of uh, you know these pools. And the APY on those is almost 8% on each. So that's how I would filter down, you know, buy the coins that I actually want to hold, the chain and the platform, as long as all those three are very good and, and, and satisfy me in terms of their security and everything, then just choose the highest APY right here. So you're getting really, really good APY on those stable coins. Um, and, you know, you can just go from there. Before I show you step-by-step step how to actually enter into these strategies, I'll quickly show you how I look for the best yields for risk assets as well, so non-stablecoin pairs. And there's definitely a lot to go through here in terms of um, just choosing choosing the right kind of um, liquidity pool to actually enter into. So I'm gonna come out of stablecoins and I'm gonna go to all, and then I wanna search for um, tokens that I have anyway. So in this instance, I'm gonna search for Matic. I have Matic and I want to earn extra on my Matic. You know, can I earn extra um, in these liquidity pools versus just staking it? So what you can see here is, yes, definitely you can see this is a massive APY, 635%. It's obviously mad, but looking at this token pair, this is something that I don't want to hold. Now this goes into something called impermanent loss, which is something you need to know of if you're using liquidity pools, impermanent loss, essentially happens when you have two tokens that are risk assets that can change in price from when you put your coins into the liquidity pool to when you take them out. And essentially, the more the price moves, the more you're going to lose with impermanent loss. So this APY right here, even though it says 6.34%, which is crazy, this is obviously commensurate, commensurate to the amount of risk that you're taking with having a loss from impermanent loss because this must token, you know, don't want to hold that, right? So. You can also see on the right hand side this this liquidity pool the tvl is twenty six thousand dollars right which is very very small so you've got a small illiquid pair um, and a risky token versus matic so i wouldn't want this now you might want to put a little bit in but the amount that you can really put in is so small anyway that the apy just doesn't really work out so what i'm going to do is um you know if you want to know about impermanent loss, I have two videos on it that really go through it in my you know, crypto investor course. So I'll link this in the description. I've got like 20 plus videos on DeFi and how I use DeFi to earn extra income in a way that you know isn't exposing myself to a ton of risk. You can definitely earn extra income. So I'll leave this link in the description. You have all these videos on DeFi that goes through it and, and really explains everything, plus other um, you know videos on investing, trading, putting a portfolio together. You've got private Discord groups, and you can see my strategies and everything like that as well. So I'll link it in the description. But you know, as I come down here, book don't want this token, high APY, but that's for a reason. So I'm going to come down here and see if I can search for a pair that I'd be happy holding. Ethmatic possibly um, a really good APY here. And so that's uh, definitely a more robust pair. And as I come down here, this is really one that I wanna see here. So Matic X and Matic. Matic X and Matic are uh, one for one in terms of um, their, their value, right? So they're going to be the same price and so you don't suffer from impermanent loss. So what essentially I'm doing here is taking advantage of a liquidity pool and other people's trades and fees and incentives and I will be holding essentially Matic. So the exposure that I get is having Matic and I have that anyway. So I'm not gonna be you know, winning or losing anything here. You can see on the left, on the right hand side, the APY 36.5%, which is brilliant. Now I know from um, you know, research that this yield is essentially here for a short term incentive because this is a new token pair on QuickSwap. Um, so this APY will go down, but for now, what I'm essentially I'm getting is a really high APY on tokens that I would be holding anyway. So and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to enter into a strategy like this, uh, what tokens you'd need, and then the steps you need to go through. So what Beefy do is basically simplify all of this into one click. Um, so we're gonna to go to the Matic X Matic LP pair. So click on this. TVL on this strategy is a million dollars, pretty good. And uh, the APY 36.5%. On the right-hand side, you can see Harvest last harvest five minutes ago. So what they do is take everyone's money, which is about $865,000 worth, and put it into this strategy where they put the uh, value of those tokens in a pool, they get incentives from it, they sell those incentives back into the pool and then kind of compound the interest over. The reason why people use this because they don't wanna go through those steps themselves. And actually uh, Beefy, um, 
benefit from economies of scale with doing this with a million dollars versus a thousand bucks or something like that. Um, so what you need to do on the left-hand side is obviously look at the safety score and you can see this is 9.0 very low or zero expected imponent loss because Matic, Matic X and Matic are the same. Um, and then the platform is audited and, and has a known record. So that's obviously fine by me. Um, and then you can actually come and see the strategy breakdown here, which is pretty good. So you can see what they do. The vault deposits the Matic X, Matic LP. It then earns the platform's governance token. That's an incentive yield that the, the, um, the DEX pays. Um, they, what they do then is then take that and swap it into more of the strategy. So I'll explain exactly how that works right here. So very quickly, what um, what happens is Matic X is a token um, that's issued by Stader, who are, uh, essentially stake uh, Polygon Matic and then give you the yields from that. So what you can do is go onto QuickSwap and get Matic X token. You then put that onto Matic X in a 50-50 ratio. So you have 50% Matic X, which is the staking token, and 50% Matic, which is the normal token. You then obviously add them into the liquidity pools on QuickSwap to earn other people's trading fees. You get an LP token right here uh, that is obviously showing you how much you know you have of these tokens. And that LP token, at the moment anyway, is getting an incentive yield to incentivize people to use this liquidity pair, and you're getting that incentive in QuickSwap token. Um, now that's quite a high yield, but you don't want quick swap token, you want Matic token, because otherwise you have exposure to this asset, which you don't want. So what you do is you sell this quick swap token and you just put it back into this strategy of 50-50 Matic X and Matic, and then it goes around in a circle and you're essentially using the incentives to increase your position in Matic. Now that takes a lot of transactions, and if you have like, you know, $4 of this, then a transaction on the, on the Polygon chain is going to eat away at your, your income. So what Beefy do is just aggregate everyone's liquidity and do this over and over on a much you know, uh, higher amount of TVL. So they spread out the cost. So that's exactly what they do. So what I'm going to do is come over to deposit. And as you can see here, I've got my Matic uh, linked up. So if I open my MetaMask, just make sure that I'm on the Matic network. You can see I've got some Matic here and I've got some wraps Matic in the... Um, the wallet as well and it shows me here so you're going to need one of these tokens either wrapped matic or matic whichever whichever one you want to use so if i click wrap matic um, then i want to go ahead and press max and you can see i've got 4.06 here now what what it's going to do it's going to sell half of this so that i have half in matic and half in matic x it, it's then going to receive those lp tokens it's going to deposit those lp tokens into the vault and get those rewards from QuickSwap. And then um, it's gonna return any trace amounts of Matic in, into my wallet because it's gonna go through a few different transactions right here. So what you wanna do is just press deposit all. This is known as a Zap transaction because it's going to go through with a few different transactions in one. But really the end result is that you are going to get a beefy LP token so that will be a beefy LP token in your Matic wallet in MetaMask. And that will show you how much of this pool that you have um, and how much of the yields that you, you, know, you have um, access to. So that's really it. So if you just go to deposit all like this, MetaMask is going to come up. You can see that right here. Go ahead and obviously pay that fee on the Matic network. I'm going to just reject this because I don't want to go through with that. But it's literally that simple. And they're going to be taking 4.5% as a performance fee. But other than that, you've got basically all of your fees reduced and a lot of the complexity reduced as well. You don't have to use Beefy to do this strategy. You can do it yourself manually as well, but obviously there's some you know, considerations here. If you wanna do it manually, go to QuickSwap yourself, which is the DEX on Polygon, get your Matic tokens, swap them into Matic X 50-50. You'd then get um, those tokens and then you'd need to put them into the liquidity pool. So you'd need to add your liquidity here. You can do that. Then you need to get the quick swap LP tokens, go over to LP mining or dual mining, put the LP tokens in here and then harvest the quick uh, rewards, which is the, the DEX token, and then put them back into Matic Matic X. The problem is, is if you have a small amount, those fees are going to be eating up a lot of the percent of your yield, which is why B fee is, you know, reducing the fees and the complexity and taking their four and a half percent. Now, if you're happy um, with what you've done and you want to take your, your liquidity out and you want to get your Matic back, you can do that. So come to the vault again and then just go to withdraw on the right hand side. 
Um, and then what you can see is that I've actually got some Matic, Matic X LP tokens right here, and I've actually got them in my wallet. So what I'm gonna do is go to my MetaMask and show you, I have down at the bottom, the MooQuick Matic uh, token. And that is essentially the LP token that I've got for Beefy. So it shows me that I'm using the vault. So you've got that here and you obviously wanna swap that back into, let's say Matic token to kind of withdraw your tokens from Matic uh, or from, from Beefy. So come to withdraw and then you can see what's deposited right here. Um, so I've got those LP tokens, I can click max. Uh, and then come down and withdraw all. And that will be basically taken out into the Matic token for me. So my MetaMask will have those Matic tokens plus the interest I've earned back in my wallet. If you do wanna learn more about DeFi, getting the best yields and how to make sure that you're actively managing everything, the Crypto Investor course has 20 plus videos on DeFi and I do add more over time, plus you know how to kind of think about uh, managing your portfolio over time. I'm also in the private Discord groups here from the course as well, um, showing you what I'm doing and where I'm moving each of the coins to make sure I'm getting the best yield. So I'll leave that linked in the description. I'm James with MoneyZG, cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.